Here we are, Pikmin 2! That's a very nostalgic title screen with the uh, the trees going down like that. Let's begin. There is some other stuff as well. It shows that there's bonuses this time. Alright, let's start a new file on Pikmin 2. Hockertape Freight is a long haul deep space shipping company. One day, its only employee of any merit, Captain Olimar, dun dun dun, crashed on an uncharted planet while on an something something. There, he was aided by indigenous creatures, which he called Pikmin. In the end, Captain Olimar escaped. We just saw that happen. But in Olimar's absence, his employer, Hockertape Freight, ran into financial difficulties. Because Louis incompetent, if I remember right. He's gained a few polygons since the first game. Here's a desolate wasteland. President of Hockertape Freight and local employee, Louis. Louis, you have to say it like that. Louis, Olimar, Louis. We'll be hearing a lot of that. Olimar, I'm so glad you're safe. Yes, very glad, quite glad. But sadly, I have an announcement that is not so glad. Our company is going under. Yes, we're finished. On his first mission, Louis here met a ravenous space bunny. And his entire load of golden pick pick brand carrots was eaten. Oh no! I took an enormous loan to repay the debt from this loss. I decided to sell off corporate assets to repay the loan. Oh no! Don't take the spaceship! No, I literally just put that back together. The only asset we had to sell was your ship, the SS Dolphin. As for the rest of our loan... Oh my god. It feels like real life. We have no means to repay it. Poor Olimar, he was so excited to get back. Olimar, what is that? You brought us brought that back as a souvenir for your kid? Not if we can sell it, you didn't. Treasure, treasure! Initiating valuation of recovered treasure, this artifact is worth 100 pokos. This thing's worth 100 pokos! That's more than a year's salary! A uh, nice round number to start the game. What? There are more on that planet? They can repay our debt. Louis, you don't look alive! You must depart immediately with Captain Olimar. <laughs> I guess we have no choice. Off we go. In our beat up spaceship. Oh my god, is this the only Pikmin game where they don't crash on impact? They actually made it in one piece! They dodged the asteroid, oh my god. Here we are, Valley of Repose, the first level. I love this intro bit as well, it looks so cool, doesn't it? Ah! Okay, they did crash. This is just like a tutorial level to explain how to use the two characters. Which makes it quite enjoyable, having to split between the two of them. I especially really liked it in number three as well, we have three different characters to swap between. Brzzz, that was close! I have averted a crash landing. Running diagnostics. Alert! Danger! Louis is missing! He must have somehow fallen out of his cockpit. He is not responding via his communicator. He is either floating protocol or in danger. Olimar, you must find Louis before he freezes to death in the cold of this planet. Wait a moment, look. 
<laughs> I thought they'd learn how to fight properly. Could these be Pikmin? They look like they're about to be devoured as we speak. Help them use left to move the cursor. I know how to play. I literally just finished playing the last game. Yes, I remember what to do. There we go, they're safe. Oh my god, what's a Pikmin? They seem to remember you. How fascinating. Give them instructions and do not delay. Hold A to grab and then throw it. I wish there was a way of saying, did you just play the first game? Ah, the scream's different on this one. The controls feel a little different as well. They're much more responsive. Wow. They're a lot faster. Da -da -da -da. Attention, Captain Olimar. I've just re-established my communications link with Louis. It is fortunate that we've managed to confirm his safety. Press Y to communicate with him. I'm quite interested in the details of his condition. Louis. There we go. You can see where he fell in the snow. Louis, allow me to assess your condition. As per our safety protocols, are you at all injured? Is that so? Then my concerns are eased. Our communication link shows that you are nearby. Can you make your way to our location and rejoin us? I will navigate for you. Press plus to contact me and obtain information about the terrain. Let's see what we can see. A very pixelated map. More detailed than the first game, at least, though. Oh yeah, I remember in this one, I was amazed that you can hold down the camera button to get that sort of third-person adventure style camera view instead. Whoa, it looks so cool! Louis, the odd object before you appears to be one of the onions mentioned in Olimar's report. It is, indeed. The seed the onion ejected just sprouted. According to Olimar's report, it can be plucked with A. Peakmin. I see what you did there. Do you like his little tap of his feet? So cute! Louis, this must be one of your Pikmin creatures from Olimar's report. It's staring at you. Press A to throw a Pikmin where you want it to take action. A squad of them can do a lot. You can disband a squad by pressing X. Yes, I know. Olimar's description of the creatures resembling pit pit carrots was strikingly accurate. Louis, my sensors have detected drool in the corner of your mouth. Are you alright? How will I be selling the book? I haven't decided yet. I've been trying to figure out whether it's better to do self-publishing and sell it through Amazon or a print-on-demand thing. Or to try and get an editor and a publisher and sell it officially somewhere, but it's done quite a way off yet, so I'm still trying to figure all that out. From the trunk of my car, yep. Yep, that's it. Everyone has to come. Come here. Just go into the boot of my car and I'll give you a book. Give you a book. But I'll make some sort of riddle so you don't really know where to go, so... One of those quest things. The onion ejected more seeds. The pallet from that flower must have nutrients. Okay, I know this. You don't need to teach me how to play. We literally just finished playing the last one. Start saving for a plane ticket. Hey, Betamark's here too. You got a book that's called Press Start to Play, which is a bunch of sci-fi stories that are vaguely game-related. The title sounds a little bit misleading. Were you expecting it to be a fiction book? That's a bit disappointing, isn't it? I did get this book through the post the other day. I've got it right here in front of me so I can show you guys. It is Legends of 16-Bit Game Development. The History of Treasure which is really interesting. I've been slowly reading through it. There's so much 
It's going to be difficult for me to show that way around, but there you go. Loads of interviews and details about how they made all the different games for the Mega Drive and stuff, and pre-release screens and um, little hand-drawn stuff like that, which is really cool. So I'll definitely be reading the rest of that at some point. Although I'm not really planning to make my book like a big book like this. I'm planning to make it like... Uh, I'll show you. More like... More like that size compared to that. So like a little book that you can just store on the shelf next to other books. So we'll see what happens happens. But I'm excited for it. I've been planning out all the different chapters and headings and things. Hey, this is different. That used to say Duracell. Now it just says electric battery energy. Uh, no, I haven't played Diablo, actually. I haven't played any of them. Should I? I obviously, I've I've heard they're all very good games. And uh, I've been interested in checking them out for a while. Perhaps this object is one of the treasures that we were searching for. The only reason we found it here is because this is where you crash landed. How fortunate. Uh, you're playing through the first one for the first time ever, enjoying it a lot more than you expected. That's good. So it's not too dated then compared to some of the uh, later entries. It still plays well on its own. Kind of like Pikmin 1. A lot of people expect Pikmin 1 to be a lot worse than it actually is. Anyway, I would like to appraise it, but you must regroup with Olimar first. Can you see him? Press ZR to move the camera behind you. Also press ZR to zoom in or up and down with the R button. Oh, and press left or right to rotate the camera. Yes, as if I didn't already figure all that out. There's Olimar. He's right over there. Let's bring him a battery. I'm sure that's exactly what he needs. Hanya, hanya. It's so weird seeing just a generic battery brand. I'm so used to seeing it say Duracell. We need more. I'm still kind of thrown off by how much faster the camera is. Look at that, teamwork! Whoa. Oh, I was going to run up and give him a big hug. Captain Almar, Louis, you're both reunited at last. This has been a troublesome start to our trip. But now you must feel assured that your combined... That your combined wits can get you through anything, correct? From now on, use B to form a single group, X to take solo action, and Y to change leaders. Ready? Louis! Almar! Louis! I love that. Is it? Oh yeah, we can go and grab the... Uh... Oh yeah, the onion's on that side, I forgot. Anyway, let's go up here. Uh, what is... Is this the remake? Yeah, I'm playing it on the Switch. There they are. I haven't got Pikmin 3 on the Switch yet, but there's 1, 2, and 4. We need 35 for that. I need to get Pikmin 3. I'm planning to replay Pikmin 3 soon. Um, what's my fave Pikmin game? Probably Pikmin 3, honestly. Having played and completed all of them, I think I had the most fun with Pikmin 3. And I'm really looking forward to replaying it to see whether it lives up to my memories, because I've only ever played that when it came out on the Wii U. But I remember thinking it was amazing. For the time. In fact, it was my number one Wii U game when I did my list. Before the switch came out. What about you guys? What's your favourite Pikmin games? I hope no one says Hey Pikmin. Although it's not terrible. It's not terrible. I did kind of enjoy Hey Pikmin a little bit. It definitely looks really nice. And it's an interesting concept having a platformer that goes across both screens. 
Oh yeah, we need to get the rest of them. Should we leave Olimar up there? Hey, Pikmin is for horses, Pikmin. <laughs> what does that even mean? It is not the Pikmin 4 that everyone wanted. It'd be really cool if they had a proper a proper Pikmin game for the 3DS. I think it would have done really well with the touchscreen. It would have worked really well. I forgot how slow this intro is compared to Pikmin 1. I guess it has to teach you how to use both characters. The only thing I don't really like about Pikmin 2 that much, or at least when I used to play it back on the GameCube and the Wii, I would get a bit annoyed at how similar a lot of the caves felt, and that's kind of the same issue I had with number four as well. We're just going to wait here now. Look at this, riveting gameplay. We can do that cool camera trick. It makes everything look so much better. Like, the perspective changes and it makes it look like everything's got a lot more depth. In fact, Pikmin 4 pretty much uses this camera. The whole time. Um, the problem that 4 had was a lack of big bosses. Yeah, and um, a lot of really easy challenges that just felt like they, they were there for filler. But I really enjoyed it overall. I did 100% complete it. It took me 51 hours, which is insane for a Pikmin game. Hey, we get to listen to Kirby's Dreamland again. Can, can you guys hear that? Okay. Our first day of exploration has yielded our first treasure. We'll be done in record time. The other problem with... Uh, actually, something really good in Pikmin 4 that I miss with a lot of the other ones is all the little improvements to things like using that radar that you can spin around to bring all the uh, idle Pikmin back over to you. I thought that was really cool. And like having the drone to be able to survey around. And the rush ability as well, to be able to press uh, press X and fire them all forward. I thought that was really useful. Leave it to me to think up catchy names for hit products. It is but one of my many talents. We shall end our first day here and report back to our president. His face will surely be joyous. However, to communicate with Hocker Tate, we must fly into low orbit above the planet. We will not return to the surface until morning so as to avoid the indigenous nocturnal creatures. Even though at the end of Pikmin 1, the Pikmin were fine with the creatures at night. Now you've made me wonder what a Hideo Kojima directed Pikmin game would be like. Can you imagine a really ultra cinematic Pikmin experience? Could be pretty funny, actually. Yay, we got some money. And we created 20 lives, I guess. You found your first bit of treasure. Fine work. Our future depends on your efforts. So check your treasure hoard regularly. I'll keep in... I'll check in often. Keep up the pace. 51 hours of cutscenes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, I guess we'll drop back down. Oh yeah, we can see the treasures. I used to think this screen looked really cool, like the, the way it kind of goes out of focus and then back in again. Obviously, it's really simple, but I don't know. Twelve-year-old me, or however old I was when, it, when this first came out, thought it was impressive. Alright, let's go back in. I can see some pellets 
dotted around everywhere. Do I ever watch Boundary Break? Yeah, I've seen it. I watch it occasionally. One of the problems I have with Boundary Break is the fact that he does videos about new games that I haven't played yet, and I feel like I don't want to ruin the games by by watching him go out of bounds. So I enjoy the the look back on the retro titles and stuff. That's always really fun. And some of the 2D ones that he did was really cool as well, where you can sort of see outside the, the tile set and the map and see how far it goes. Yeah, it's a cool channel. Good morning, workers. Ready for another day of toiling for the profit of your company? The Pikmin seem to be still asleep inside of their onion. What lazy creatures. No wonder they lack survival skills. Stand beneath the onion and press A to call them out. You always tried to push Sonic to get to the end of the uh, get to the end of the levels. No, I don't think I've seen that skybox appreciation. That's something that you couldn't you couldn't do in Pikmin. I don't think you can see the sky. No, you can't see the sky ever. Does the sky even exist in the Pikmin universe? Who knows? I'm trying to think of other gaming channels that I watch. See if you guys do. Anyone watch Happy Console Gamer? I used to watch his stuff religiously. Uh, what else? Retro Game Corpse, yeah, I've seen a few of his whenever I'm interested in a new handheld or anything. Or well, Ross from Retro Game Corps, isn't it? Uh, what about Game Sack? I like their videos. What? There we go. For some reason, it didn't like the word sack. What is it with this overprotective uh, Twitch moderation? Pixel Cherry Ninja, I've not heard of that one. Uh, who else? Does anyone watch Nitro Rad? I really enjoy his videos. And Ant Dude as well. Those two kind of go together for me. Oh my god, I used to love Mega64 back in college. Do they still do stuff? I haven't seen them in like 10 years at this point. They're still going, no way. I'll have to check them out again. That's the thing with YouTube, for some reason one day it just stops recommending you someone and then you have no idea whether they still exist or not. It's a bit weird. I'd left Louis there all on his own. How about any other British channels? Do you guys know of any other good ones? You watch a channel called Retro Break? Uh, sounds like a Boundary Break ripoff. I think Nintendo Wii would be a better name for it. Yeah, Lady Decaders. I've spoke to her a few times, but there's a bit of controversy going around about her asking for money for some photo that she owed from using in a video or something. I don't really know the ins and outs of it, but I know people were upset with her for something. No idea, really. I try and stay away from all the drama.
she actually helped me out with my channel at one point, and she's on my Patreon. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I, I just don't have the interest to even care about what drama's going on in the community. I really don't. I literally see it and just phase out instantly. Like, yeah, I really don't care, I'm just happy making my own videos. Maybe that means that I'm not properly part of the community, but whatever. Uh, yeah. You'll get drama in any community. Uh, yeah, Elliot from the Retro Future. He's in the UK, or he is now. He used to live in Jersey, I think. Which I guess is still part of the UK. I've met him a few times as well. He's really cool. Yeah, I think some people just live for the drama. I don't know how people have the energy. They all tell me there's Minecraft. Of course, there's drama for literally everything if you look hard enough. <laughs> well, technically America was part of the UK at one point, right? Along with most other places on Earth. Or well, part of Britain, I guess, not the UK. Who knows? All your friends are synths. That makes it sound like you're only friends with your only friends are musical instruments, not people. <laughs> right, well they're taking that back. We can send these people over to break down this fence. And there's our first cave right there. And there's a giant snowman. I never noticed him before. Look at him. We can leave Louie over there. I'm trying to think of what other gaming YouTubers I like. Uh, let's see. I do watch a lot of other random things on YouTube. I watch a lot of Japanese or Japan YouTubers and streamers. Abroad in Japan. Uh, Tokyo Lens is really good. Let's see. Digital Foundry. Especially DF Retro. I really enjoy watching their videos whenever they release one. Rooster Teeth I was never really a fan of. I don't really like anything that's like super energetic, I guess. Uh, Gaming Historian. He doesn't really do as much as he used to, but I, I really enjoy his videos whenever he whenever he does release one. Little Karibo, wow, that's another blast from the past. <laughs> Is Rowan Atkinson a YouTuber? Does he do Let's Plays as Mr. Bean? That'd be kind of funny, actually. How could Pikmin destroy such a massive wall? When massed, their might is ferocious. Louis, did Olimar instruct you on a proper Pikmin commanding protocol? Apparently not! Olimar, you're failing your duty as a superior. Allow me to explain. 
press A to grab Pikmin and group him with B. Yes, we know what to do. I'll skip all that. Let's see what else is on my list here. I've made a list ages ago of ones that I liked, so in case that YouTube ever did stop recommending them to me, I could go and find them again. Geek, Crit Geek Critique was one that I really enjoyed, although he doesn't really upload that often anymore, unfortunately. Uh, let's see what else. Good Vibes Gaming is a modern channel that's uh, started up out of Nintendo Life, I think. Some people left that and I think it was Nintendo Life anyway and started Good Vibes Gaming. Interesting. Warm air is welling up from the hole in the ground before you. What could lie underground? What is wrong? You both show expressions of unease. Do not fear. The leader's group of Fickman will join you. I shall dispatch my research pod too. I will return any Pikmin outside of that group to the onion. Approach the hole and press A to jump in. Yeah, let's go. Liam Richardson. No, I don't know. His name does ring a bell, though. Who is it? Uh, let's see. Oh, Metal Jesus Rocks, obviously. How could I forget him? The uh, king of hidden gems. Intriguing. My heat sensors indicate that this hole's interior is warmer than on the surface. Analysis suggests danger lies ahead. But the promise of treasure is tantalizing. If you wish to check underground terrain, press plus to communicate with me. I'm not just a ship, I'm an all-purpose support pod. Metal Jesus rocks rocks. He does. And his group of other YouTubers that he uh, collaborates with all the time. Kelsey Lewin. Is, uh, is a good one. And who else? John Riggs. I was fortunate enough to meet him last year. We had a good conversation about YouTube. Favourite non-gaming channels. Uh, answering progress I've been enjoying a lot recently. The thing with non-gaming ones, everyone's, everyone's taste is so varied. It's almost impossible to find people who who actually know any of them. I like watching ones about like YouTube um, strategy and stuff like that. So Film Booth's a really good one for that sort of thing. Uh, Nate Black, Channel Makers. He actually just left Channel Makers to start his own channel. I was watching one of them earlier. MKBHD for tech stuff. That's always fun to watch. And Mr. Who's the Boss. I guess most people watch them too because they're massive at this point. How can you possibly consider this beast a treasure? Beasts are incompatible with my circuitry. I suppose I will store your finds in my hold. But I do not think beasts will be worth much. Oh well. I'll bring them back anyway. Have some more beasts. Um, I used to watch, enjoy watching Casey Neistat back when he was doing his vlogs, and Van Neistat these days as well. In fact, I prefer his channel, honestly. The production values are insane. Spicy ginger ale. I haven't seen much Nakey Jakey. He's been recommended to me a lot, though. So. Maybe I should watch more. Uh, 
This hole appears to be quite deep. My senses indicate more treacherous terrain ahead. Oh, something happened. We got a new follower. Thank you, Nana Sakurai. Hello, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Oh, wow, they sound really interesting. I love it when people are so into a certain topic that they put loads of attention to detail into making videos about it. You can really feel the passion, can't you? Louis, do you recall that you can adjust the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to stop telling me how to play. Approach the hole and press A to enter it. All right, let's go deeper. Trying to think of other non-gaming YouTubers. Um, me and my girlfriend always like to watch Sea Dog VA whenever he releases a new episode. Final level. And occasionally Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. It's inconceivable that such an immense object has been buried here for so long. The design on the outer shell resembles the surface of the planet as seen from space. Perhaps this can be used for something other than salvage. But how will we ever lift it? I fear that even 100 red Pikmin will be unable to lift it. That's where we find purple ones. Spoiler. Let's take these beasts back first. Are we going to find purple ones this early on? Mm. Money. We can just leave them there to carry them back. I expect to see a lot of this sort of dark cave in this game. It is a lot darker than the other Pikmin game. Astounding! A flower blooms in a cave deep beneath the snowy landscape. Clearly it is warmer down here than above. Look, the Pikmin are restless. They look like they yearn to be tossed into the flower. Okay. Ready to make some purple Pikmin? Is there anything else around here? Don't think so. The map's a lot more detailed on this one, which is good. Yeah, I'll definitely bear that in mind. I'll, I'll have a watch of some of his videos tomorrow. Sounds really interesting. I don't know, that's the thing with YouTube, so many really cool creators just slip completely under the radar because YouTube just doesn't feel like showing them to you. It's so annoying. There should be an easier way for better people to sort of come up to the surface. Amazing! A purple Pikmin! It has hair, and it's quite stocky. It seems to be very heavy and strong. This kind of Pikmin was not mentioned in your report, Alamar. It must be an entirely new type. Ready for clarity? Yeah, I checked their channel out after they've obviously joined the Discord and been talking in there and leaving comments and stuff. This Pikmin is an agent of chaos. <laughs> Look at his eyes. He's like someone's me gone wrong, where they just moved the eyes right to the side of the head. Yay, it's a lot faster picking them up with Louis here as well. Oh, 
Oh, were you still waiting for someone? There you go. The purple ones are so slow. The only way I can get the algorithm on my side is just to make top games videos. That seems to be the only thing that YouTube's that YouTube cares about sharing. So every so often I have to make one of them to try and get a bit more of a new audience. You've been looking at machine learning. That sounds interesting. What have you found out through studying the machine learning algorithms? Um, do I ever do the YouTuber thumbnail face? I've done it once or twice, like, as a kind of ironic, you know, <gasps> look at this thing I got, but no, I hate it. And I don't really think it helps either, because who really clicks on that unless they're like five years old? And I don't really want five-year-old audience either, because they won't really care about what I'm talking about, so I don't really bother. Thumbnails is such a difficult thing to try and figure out, like, the best way of making them. It's so, so tough. There's, like, whole courses about it and everything. It's insane if you look deep into it and all the psychology behind, like, what colours you should show and, you know, focus on one thing and how much text you should have on the screen and stuff and specific faces and the size of the face and things. There's so much you can go into if you want to. Animal language models. That's uh, interesting. I mean, it makes sense. It's all just... Logic and data, isn't it? There is a device resembling a microchip embedded inside this sphere, retrieving data. Error! I could only decode a portion of the data, but I did retrieve new geographic charts. I will input this data into my planetary database and name it the sphere chart. Press plus to contact me and go into the exploration kit. Now we have this new data, you should be able to explore the decoded territory tomorrow. Yay! There we go, this area is officially cleared out. Did you find out anything in particular about recommendation algorithms or anything like that? I was trying to look into it on YouTube, obviously, and apparently they um, rank things based on... It's not watch time, it's not click-through rate, it is, like, enjoyment of the, from the viewer. So it's a really difficult thing to try and grasp, like, they take all sorts of things into consideration, like, how many times have you clicked on a certain channel in the past? Um, have you watched more than one video in a row of the same channel? If it shows up and it asks, did you like this video, did you leave a good recommendation and stuff like that? Did you give it a thumbs up when you watched it? Did you watch it all the way to the end? Or did you click off halfway through? It takes all of that into account for every single person. And then it decides what to put on the home screen. So it's kind of outside of your control a little bit. Like, just make the best videos you can. Give them a good title and a good thumbnail and hope for the best. Oh, I just realised it still says Pikmin 1. Whoops. Should say Pikmin 2. There we go. Bit late. Astounding. Water is shooting out of this geyser with incredible force. Sensors indicate there's enough power to launch you into the air. Ah, Twitch did, but the, uh, the actual writing on the screen still said Pikmin 1. We're out of the first cave. Cave complete. Yay, and we get some confetti. The 
the days in this game are a lot longer than the first one, because the time doesn't pass when you're underground. Dun, 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 dun. Some weird glitch going on with the uh, spaceship in the background there, flickering. It's desperate to tell me something. You have successfully returned to the planet's surface. Excellent decision making, gentlemen. We must celebrate your first successful spelunking expedition. You've gathered a large amount of data that needs in-depth analysis. I shall send a report back to the president tonight detailing your progress. <laughs> we'll finally know what the Pikmin are saying. They're saying, you should have left me in the ground. Why did you pluck me? I was having such a great time down there and now I can't breathe properly. And you're probably going to send me out and get me eaten by a little slug thing. Olimar and Louis, since you will explore a new area tomorrow, today's work is done. What? You still want to work? Unacceptable! You may not realise it, but you are exhausted. You should take a much needed rest as you'll have all the time you need to collect the treasure. Haste makes waste, so take it slow and steady. That's one of the main changes with Pikmin 2. There's no day and night cycle. Well, there is a day and night cycle, but there's no limit to the amount of days that you can that you can use, basically. <laughs> I forgot the purple ones just go in the spaceship with you. They don't have their own onion. And then in Pikmin 4, they're all just bunched up into the same onion with everyone else. Huh, maybe they do enjoy it. They do a little backflip and they scream when they get pulled out the ground. We haven't lost anyone yet. We got mail! Day two. Baby steps first, Olimar. Plan well and don't worry about me. Our debt is with happy hock hockitate savings and loan, after all. Beside, there's nothing to let there's nothing left to repossess. So ha. Oh dear. Why am I having to clean up after his bad business decisions? It shouldn't be up to me. Okay, don't even... Oh! Apparently if I press left on the D-pad it takes me to that other screen. You have to use the analog stick to move around. There is still some more stuff to there, but I, I guess we come back there later. So let's go to the next area. Awakening Wood. And see what's happening in this level. The graphics are so good for a GameCube game, I just love how it looks. The graphics in all the Pikmin games are fantastic, really, especially Pikmin 4 just looks incredible. And imagine how good it'll look on next-gen system. Can't wait. Good morning. It should please you to know the purple Pikmin are lodged safely in my hall. The confines of my interior seem to suit them perfectly, though they do occasionally tickle me. Stand in the ring of light below and press A to call the purple Pikmin out. He's so amazed, he's like, ah, I didn't know this light existed. There we go, 10 purple. And how many reds? 59? 70. I don't know why it, why it said 59. Hey, we got seven people watching now. Hello, everyone. While I was playing Pikmin 1, we only had about four. So welcome, everyone who joined after the end of the first game. This is actually the second game that I'm playing tonight. Louis, has Olimar instructed you on the peculiarities of the Pikmin creatures? The Pikmin form groups based on what? Yeah, we know, we know. I wish there was a way of saying, yes, I've played Pikmin before. And then you could just skip all that. So... These ball bulbs always need three. The one thing I really miss from Pikmin 2 is the lock-on feature. Uh, from Pikmin 4, I mean. So for this one, you sort of have to go around the back and... Don't let any of them get eaten. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot there was a purple one there. I was like, 32? Pikmin carrying that one on its own? Really? No, not quite. Oh yeah, I think you can only get the purple ones from underground. 
So I guess we'll just use this session to uh, bonk up our numbers of red ones by the looks of it. Some nice sort of weird marching band music going on in the background. Oh yeah, we get to use the uh, the spray bottles to make the Pikmin move faster as well in this one, which is good. Have we exceeded 100? Is that what it's going to tell me? Olimar, we have a problem. Hey, thanks for the subscription. Gone mad trying. And for the insane amount of emojis on the screen. I wish I could sort of program it so I can do that and blow them away. That'd be fun. Yay, thank you so much. Oh, Betamark gifted it. Amazing, thank you. Olimar, we have a problem. The onion has ceased ejecting seeds. Is it malfunctioning? Interesting, though. It seems the number of life forms within the onion has increased. Didn't you know that no more than a hundred will venture onto the planet at once? What a legend. Thank you so much. But I can currently observe only 95 on the surface. Could there be wild Pikmin somewhere? I'm guessing there's some blue ones. Let's send some of them up there and the rest of them can start demolishing this wall. Oh my god. We got a strawberry. What are they going to call it? Sunseed berry. Close. 10% of debt recovered? No way. I thought it would take way longer than that. Oh my god, they grew a flower. It's kind of annoying that we have to keep seeing this again when we've already just seen everything. The Pikmin drank the nectar and matured into a flower Pikmin. Yay, basically it means they get to move faster. And I think they may be a little bit stronger. Not 100% sure about that though. Oh yeah, where's Louis? Louis's back here. I've, I forget you can do this. So what you can do is you can set him off. Can you do that? Yeah, you can. Will he keep picking them up? No. That's a wasted opportunity. I thought I could leave him to pick everything up and then go around to Solomar, but apparently not. Yay, okay, we're done. Let's have a look at the map. Let's consult. See where the missing ones are. They're over there. So in that case, everyone needs to go and help build the bridge. There's nothing left for anyone to do. I guess some can go over there. Go up that tree. That song's slower in this game, for some reason. That's a bit of a weird design, uh, design decision for no apparent reason. Let's go and explore a bit while they're doing that. So later on we're going to get some blue ones that can open that bridge and get the uh, second half of the globe back over to us by the looks of it. It doesn't really seem like there's anything going on up there. There is a wall to destroy far off into the distance. But for now that's it I guess. These guys are attacking a plant with nothing on it. They should come over here and get that instead. And these guys are done. I guess we'll get Olimar as well. He can come with us. We've got a berry. It is just a ball. Astounding! This red berry contains an ultra spicy essence. It does not appear to have any monetary value. But I shall research potential uses. Bring me more specimens. Yeah, so the berries actually allow you to make the Pikmin stronger. Oh, that didn't quite work as planned. I was hoping to just charge into him. How many does it need? Eight. Oh, no, come back. Two hundred. We can just swap two purple ones. I think we've got enough. Oh, 
Uh, I'll just keep doing that. That'll be faster. Maybe we need more. I think we need more. How many have we got? Is that enough? It feels so much more relaxing not having to worry about the uh, time limit for the days because I wouldn't have just come back and left them there if this was Pikmin 1. Ginger Wolf, better late than never. It's okay. Technically, you're not really late because I literally just started playing Pikmin 2. So although I've been streaming for two and a half hours, technically, I've only been streaming this for about half an hour. So you're not really late. You haven't really missed much either, apart from some tutorial things. Oh, I don't think I've got enough. Not quite. 70, 80, no, not, not enough. Let's come back there later. Whoa! Maybe I should have left the purple ones behind. No. Oh dear. How embarrassing. I hope the ginger wolf didn't see that. Oh no, a poisonous gate. That looks like a job for white Pikmin. Which we don't have. Oh no. You saw nothing. Let's just uh, refuel while we're here. We can get some more purple Pikmin from the cave. Nothing's lost. I did really well finishing Pikmin 1. We got all the way to the end with 11 days to spare, I think. And I did the final challenge all in one day. I was quite impressed with that. Considering I usually really struggle at the end, though. Oh. I say usually. I haven't played the game in like 10 years at this point. we got another one. What's it going to tell me about this one? It's all squidgy. Captain Alamar, my research on, on the red berries you discovered has yielded a powerful potion. Behold, the ultra spicy spray. Although it is untested, I believe it will have spectacular results. Spray it on all your Pikmin by pressing down on the D-pad. When necessary, I can produce one bottle of spray from ten berries. Press plus to contact me and confirm your berry count by pressing left. Okay, excellent. We can use that to... Uh, Help us fight the enemies a bit easier. Alright, everyone's here. Shall we send some of them to pick up berries again? Let's send some of the leafy ones up. There we go. Is there anything else for the rest of them to do, really? Not really, I guess, apart from going that cave. Should we go and look in the cave instead? I suppose we'll find some white ones in there. Cave number two, are we ready? Have we still got everyone? A lot of people are falling behind. As long as they're still counted, it's fine. Cave number two! Biological sensors are reacting violently! The readings are ominous. A beast of unknown power lurks in these depths. A large Pikmin group would be reassuring. My sound sensors are picking up hostile roars of many beasts. Expect dangerous encounters. Sensors are also showing extreme heat pockets. You may need flame-resistant Pikmin. But my records indicate no such data. Are my records incomplete? They are indeed. We have red ones with us. They are flame-resistant. The purple ones are not, though, so we better hold them ones back. Here we go, cave number two. What do you guys think of the cave system of Pikmin 2? Do you like it, or do you feel like it sort of is a bit frustrating because it takes you away from the surface? Where, you know, it looks a lot nicer on the surface, and it's more... Um, 
open-ended. Whereas the caves, you basically have a specific path through the specific caves. But I like both styles, really, although I do prefer Pikmin 1 overall, just because it's a bit of a, a faster-paced experience. But I still really love Pikmin 2 as well. It's just not quite as fun for me personally because I love the uh, the time limit of Pikmin 1. It really adds a lot to the game for me. I know some people don't like it because it's stressful. Is that it? Have we uncovered everything? That's it. You've never played any versions of it, not even on the Wii. I definitely recommend them. Although I'd say if you've never played any of them, probably start with Pikmin 4. It's a good entry point. And then if you enjoy that, go back and play the other three. But yeah, all three of them are fantastic. Or four at this point. All four of them are fantastic games. The whole point of this one is just to try and make as much money as possible by finding all different treasures and things. I guess it's not really worth taking that one back because you only get like one coin for it. But one coin's better than nothing. I've been kind of thinking about doing a Pikmin retrospective and I can uh, I can use these streams and footage. Oh my god. You must be the only person on planet Earth whose only Pikmin game is Hey Pikmin. Wow. I feel sorry for you. I hope that hasn't tainted your thoughts of the rest of the series. <laughs> what did you think of Hey Pikmin coming from someone who's never played any of the other games before? That would be a really interesting uh, point of view. It is very different to the other games. You really liked it. Oh, yeah, it looks amazing. I'll definitely give it that. I love the uh, the dual screen. In fact, I think people give it a bad rep. It's really not as bad as, as people like to make it out to be. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I think at the time a lot of people were just really sad that the 3DS didn't have a proper RTS Pikmin game. Which is understandable, because I think... A proper Pikmin game with touchscreen controls would have been really cool. But yeah, with what they had to work with, I think Hey Pikmin's good. And yeah, I love the graphics. And the way the bigger enemies fill up both screens just looks really cool. Is that everything? Apparently that's all there is on this level. Let's keep on going down. Told you we'd get some more purple ones though. I'm kind of debating whether I should keep playing the rest of Pikmin 2 on stream or not. Or move on to a different game next week. So, what do you guys think? Would you like to see me play through Pikmin 2 as well? Because obviously Pikmin 1's a lot shorter of a game as well. So it was easier to uh, play the entire thing on stream. But if people are happy watching me play Pikmin, I'll happily carry on and play more. I have been on a, a Pikmin binge since playing all the way through Pikmin 4. It really... Reignited my love for the series. So as long as people are happy watching, I'll be happy to keep playing this. Oh my god, a Famicom Disk System. 
floppy disk. And apparently a Mahjong piece. I didn't even know they'd picked that up. Or a Strife Monolith, apparently. Whatever that means. Is there anything else here? Nope. I feel like there should be a secret in there. We're just going to wait for them and then come back again. I love all the nods to old Nintendo stuff. Does anyone know what game it is? Oh my god, Mario 128! was actually for the Famicom Disk System. Well, technically, Mario 128 is... is actually Pikmin. So, if anyone saw that Mario 128 demo, this is what it became. They were using it as sort of a tech demo to see what they could do with 100 people on screen at once. You like me to be surprised by something in a positive way. Hmm. Well, actually, I do have something kind of interesting that I might play next time. Let me show you. Well, maybe two things, actually. But this is something that i picked up last weekend which i've been very curious about for a long time so maybe next week we can check this out saber wolf for the game boy advance one of the uh pun intended one of the rarer rare games a sequel to their zx spectrum game saber wolf so very curious to see what that's like so maybe we can play that next week and the other thing that I got through the post recently that I've never played before is Harvest Moon 2 for the Game Boy Color. So we have a choice, I guess. I guess Harvest Moon 2 is a bit of a uh, slower paced game, so I might play that one off stream. But I've heard it's really good, and I wanted to get some more Game Boy Color games for my top Game Boy Color video. So that's why I got that one. But yeah, Saber Wolf, very curious to see what it's like. So yes, Wolf. W U L F L F. Not Wolf. Not like the ginger wolf. The saber wolf. So yeah, maybe we'll do that. Give a suggestion. Sure, go ahead. Can't promise I will accept the suggestion, but I will listen to it. Oh my god, we can make more purple Pikmin. A Nintendo playing card, too. I was writing about Nintendo's playing cards for my book recently. All about Nintendo's... Um, basically, the chapter is how Nintendo discovered video games. So it's going to be talking about their toys and games that they made in the past and then how they moved over to using electronics in toys like in like um car racing things and there was a few other kind of electronic devices and then the first starting games but obviously i start by mentioning their card games and stuff so yeah sneak peek as to the contents of the book and a game and watch as well that's also in the book The game is not famous, the camera is broken, but the gameplay and scenery are beautiful. Freeze me. Never even heard of that. What's it like? Uh, what console is it for? Okay, I just had a look now. It's a 3D platformer in the style of 90s era. 
Sounds interesting. It does look a little uh, amateurish, but is it good? How does it compare to? Uh, it's on the Wii U. Can I still get it on the Wii U now that the shop's closed? I wish I'd known about it at the time. I suppose I could hack it. That's it for that level, apparently. We've got even more purple Pikmin. Let's continue deeper. What sort of mechanics does it have? Is it just a generic go around different 3D environments and collect random things? Or is there something like a unique twist on it? Oh my god, we made it! Final level! It looks like the big bad waiting for us. Oh no. I'm already terrified. Inspired by Mario Galaxy. Cool. Oh, I'm so scared. Come back! <laughs> you have to be really careful that this guy doesn't decide to roll over and kill everyone. Ah, actually. Let him do his roll. I can use the um, berry spray when he settles back down. Here we go. The camera's no good. That's a shame. Astounding! The heads of the Pikmin are glowing and they seem extremely agitated. The ultra spicy spray appears to increase Pikmin's speed and attack power. What a discovery. Come back. I don't know why I used to find this fight hard. You literally just have to stay here. And eventually he'll stop and then you can go crazy with the new spray powered Pikmin. Hopefully we can kill him before he comes back. Yeah, we did it. I think we lost one. I was a little bit risky at the end there, but it didn't really matter. We found the love tester. That's something else that I wrote about in the book. How bizarre. This device is emitting a black light. It must have been instigated by that creature. What an absolutely repulsive life form. Our return to Hokutite cannot come soon enough. Cameras seems like something difficult to program. Yeah, I suppose there's a lot you have to take into account with cameras in terms of how it reacts to being close to different objects and stuff. But luckily a lot of engines just take all that into account for you, so you don't really need to figure it out. Although I guess depending on the geometry and things, you'd want to customise it anyway. We got the love tester. One of Gunpei Yokoi's earlier inventions. Or a prototype detector, as it's called. I think it actually works in the game to tell you where the treasure is. Yeah, when it approaches treasure, I'll connect to it to my radar. Processing complete. The treasure gauge is now fully, fully operational. It will appear on your monitor and the needle will move right as you approach treasure. Yay, that's helpful. Boo, and there we go. What's Louis doing over there all on his own? There we go, dungeon complete. Let's head back to the overworld. With all our Pikmin. We've got a lot this time. Cave complete.
I love that little ditty as you come back out. 20% of debt recovered. I'm whizzing through this. We can get out one more, one more red Pikmin. And now all the pellets have recovered. So what we can do now is just restock. Not that we actually lost any, but I guess they expect you to. They don't expect someone like a master Pikmin player like me to be uh, going into that dungeon. Is that it? There's nothing else over there. I wish there was a way to play the whole game with this camera angle, because I really like the... Uh, the amount of distance that this view lets you see. But as soon as you let go of R, it snaps back to that sort of isometric view instead. There we go, go get some berries. Hmm. Is it that the purple ones are immune to the... Um, to the poison? So I don't think I can get up there yet. Or am I missing something? There's nothing left, guys. Come on. While they're doing that, let's go and see... What else is going on up here? Oh yeah, we got more purple Pikmin. We can, uh, we can go up here now. I suppose if I do that, there'll be enough just there. Stomp on the box. There we go. More than enough. Dun dun dun. Let's see if we can kill this without losing anyone this time. Yeah, easy. Oh, really? I think I killed him just before. Just before he managed to uh, to take me out there. There's another cave there. That must be where we get the white ones from. We could go down there now, but... Like I keep saying about Pikmin 2, there is no time limit, so... We can take our time a little bit. There's another cave up the top too. That must be how we get to that treasure. Let's take this carcass back first. We'll still have time to get to the second one before the day's over. Where's Olimar going? Olimar! 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 Did Louis just burp? Come on, go faster! All right, let's go. Let's attempt the second cave in a minute. Let's get some more berries first. It's always useful to have berries. I used to never bother, but I feel like it's better for the uh, combat if you do have them. It means you won't lose so many. I just really wish that it had the radar from Pikmin 4 that allowed you to carry all the uh, all the idle ones back to you. There we go, we've got two berry things this time. Do we have enough to make three? Not quite. Look at all the stragglers with their leafy heads. We need to find more nectar for them, guys. No, there's time to go in here. I don't know why the uh, colour of the surroundings always change when you get close to these. My metal detectors are reacting violently. What could be down below? If you find trouble below, press plus to contact me and press right on the radar screen. 
The exploration pod will drop its loot to make room to carry you and Louie and the Pikmin to safety. We'll never get in trouble. Come on, let's go. Me and my 95 weird carrot alien things. White Flower Garden, sub-level 1. We're in a very different style of cave this time. On some sort of rusty thing. Is there any challenge here, or can I literally just direct them into all the enemies like that? I don't think they'll stay live in it, alive long enough to actually cause any harm. And we've got some shoe polish! How exciting. Don't worry, the caves do get more complicated than this. Further into the game. Just don't throw any Pikmin off the edge. That's always a terrifying thought in these stages. Shine and protect. Let's see what the uh, robot's going to call it. Doesn't know what shoes are. High quality shoe care. Alien billboard. How is that a billboard? Okay, if you say so. Let's carry on further down. We're going to find white ones soon, I think. White Flower Garden, level 2. I'm going to sit back a bit, because my neck's aching. Uh, there we go. There's one of those weird fire bugs from the first game. We got... Petrified heart. Right, leave the purple ones there. Hey! Oh. It hurt me. Never mind. Oh yeah, let's hope he doesn't throw them off the edge! Oh no! Get back! I didn't even think about that. Ah, uh, damn, we lost some. Uh, they've gone into the abyss. Oh no. Good job I didn't sacrifice any purple ones, they're harder to come by. This second game is much less forgiving than any of the other ones. And also, unlike Pikmin 4, it doesn't tell you what colours you need in the uh, in the dungeons either. At least in Pikmin 4, it gives you a heads up first, and it says you need this many of this one, and you need this many of this one. And then, now try and go in the dungeon. We got a coconut water bottle cap. A <laughs> drought ender. That makes sense. Oh no, we're down to 82 Pikmin. How sad. Let's go deeper.
Level 3. It doesn't tell you how many there are. That's something else in Pikmin 4. It tells you how far down you are and how f how much further you've got left to go as well. So I kind of miss that here. Well, I will do later on when these get more complicated and dangerous. Here they are, the white Pikmin. The other kind that can only grow underground. How can a flower so deep underground bloom so robustly? How mysterious. This place is conspicuously warm. Could it act as a kind of hothouse for foliage? What an interesting development. These Pikmin look as, as if they long to be tossed into the flower. Let's do it. Make sure it's only red ones going in there. I don't want to waste the purple ones. And yes, I just realised I said foliage instead of foliage. It's light, okay. There he is. I never realised he had that sort of robotic sound, sound and voice. Incredible, a white Pikmin. It is tiny, but looks distinctively swift. Its eyes are an unseemly red. This type of Pikmin was not mentioned in your notes, Olimar. It must be an entirely new type. Our data record on this type is a blank page, since a certain captain never documented them. You must experiment and make detailed observations for the benefit of future generations. <laughs> that is a... Uh, that is an interesting mistake to make. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this cleavage. That is funny. I bet you didn't understand why people were laughing either. Oh my god, they found some tape hidden in the dirt. Amazing. The white Pikmin have unearthed a treasure that was completely buried in the ground. Perhaps those beady red eyes of theirs allow them to sense objects buried in the dirt. I thought any Pikmin could dig, but maybe it's just the white ones. Okay, that's a bit overkill. We don't need 131 of you to carry something that's only meant for 30. Oh, apparently Louie got left behind as well. Oh, that's just the exit over there. We can stay there and let Louie carry the other ones back. Ooh, actually, some of these ones with leaves. They can uh, have some nectar. Oh, the rest of them missed it. My cat's asking to leave the room. One second. What's wrong? Everyone say bye to Taito, he wants to go outside. Bye! Hello. Taito wants to go outside. What time is it? It is 10.28. I'll give it another half an hour. Let's see how much further we can get. And then I might go and play a little bit of Trackmania before bed. I was really enjoying playing that last night, actually. <laughs> Gamma tape instead of gaffer tape. Super stick textile. That makes sense. I like their little song that they sing as they're following you around. Some of them are really straggling behind there, but it doesn't really matter.
Do I know four levels deep? This is where we need the white ones. Whoa, is there more? What is going on here? There's no point to that whatsoever. I really thought I was being clever then. It was just more poison to deal with. There's not even any point trying to split tasks up because there's no time limit whatsoever. Okay, they want to dig that mushroom up for some reason. And we can get Olimar to come and check out what's going on as well. Is there really nothing to do here? There must be something, surely. No. A completely pointless, random rock. For no reason. No, oh, didn't even need them. Well, I guess I'll take Olimar back up here to carry it back down again. What does it call that? Night lip balm, extra moisture, survival ointment. There's still another treasure somewhere. Oh, was it just that? Toxic toadstool. That's it. Everything's been very straightforward so far. Hopefully we get some more interesting caverns to explore soon. Well, we're still going further down. Uh, let's make sure we got everyone. 82 out of 82, yes. Then let's continue. Sub-level number five. Final level. Is it going to be a big boss? It's so dark, I can't even see. Something's going to happen in the middle there. Should I keep all the Pikmin back just to be safe? <gasps> oh no! It's that horrible. Horrible. I can't remember what it's called. Bu Buzz Cloyd or something? Let's give them all superpowers. No, don't eat them. Oh, I hate these so much. At least there's only one of them. I think the first time you find that one in the first game, there's two of them. Well, we lost a few, but at least we... What are those ones doing? They're carrying nothing. They're just dancing around in a circle. Well done, Captain Olimar. You defeated that freakish half-bird, half-serpent hybrid. Don't tell me that treasure was ingested by the beast, was it? Oh, 
Oh, we get to carry his head back as well. Okay, while we're doing that, let's see if any of these guys need uh, flowers. I probably should have done that before the fight, but anyway. Yes, the red summoning circle, that's what they were doing. The red liquid you see contains refined ultra spicy essence. One drop contains one dose. Press down to spray. Have you tried it yet? I have tried it. That's how I thought it. Were you not paying any attention? I don't understand what Louis is doing there. Did he just drink it for himself? There we go, the final treasure, a gardening glove, also known as a very floppy glove, a five-man knapsack. <laughs> okay, this material looks comfortable. I will use it to patch the boss's favourite sleeping bag. Seam test conclusive, cross-stitch insuccessful, the knapsack is complete. When you have an unoccupied time interval, press R to take a nap. They can carry him back, but... Uh, I don't know where the knapsack is, but they'll carry him back. Is it the Louis summoning circle? Listen, ready? Ready? Louis. Everyone say Louis. We're done. I think we lost about 20 Pikmin throughout that cave, which isn't too bad. Let's see. It cracks you up every time. It is. It is fun. We lost 19. Not too bad. Cave complete. The game has been saved. Back to the Awakening Wood. It's almost sundown. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Oh, does he have something to say? Olimar, Louis, the sun will be setting soon. Call all of the Pikmin to you. This planet's native nocturnal life forms are ferocious and therefore dangerous. Load your Pikmin into the onion and yourselves into my hall so that we can take refuge in low orbit. Pikmin and your squad will enter the onion on their own at the end of the day, so call them all to you. Is this really the first night that we've had in the game? I refuse, there's more to do. Oh. I suppose whatever I do, it's only going to make red Pikmin, because that's the only onion I've got. Let's just send more red ones. We must be finding blue ones soon, though. I'm being risky, ignoring the time limit. They'll be fine. I know what I'm doing. There we go. Leave the rest of them to grow overnight. Pro Pikmin player. I always leave it until right at the end, one second to go, and then call everyone back. Is it me, or is Louis's head sticking out of the window? <laughs> Was there something weird going on with the layer in there? Today's report. Let's see how we did. We made a whole load of money. I think we literally made as much money as possible so far. Ignore that one that said dead Pikmin. I'm a pro player. Forget about that. 
How's progress, Olimar? Remember, you'll never get anything done if you sit back and watch from afar. Press ZR for a close-up view of the action. How does he even know what a ZR is? Fourth wall breaking boss. Alright, let's go back. Back in we go, day four. Look at them all waiting for me. How did they not grow flowers overnight? In game it takes like five minutes. Good morning. The white Pikmin are lodged with the purple ones in my hall. There's two types sleeping well and do not quarrel. I have made them the most comfortable. You can call them out by standing on a light and pressing A. Yes. On a ah, I missed it. To retrieve. Okay, it was just saying if you want to finish early, you can press plus and finish the day. We don't want to do that. Let's bring all of them out. Maybe that's a bit risky, but we'll be fine. Hey, Louie, come on. What are you doing? Oi, come and help. So lazy. Alright, we can... Uh, I've, I was wondering why we had so little red ones, but... That explains it. We just hadn't called them out yet. There's some new bugs. Some weird slug things. Alright, while we're here, we may as well. I wasn't going to bother, but as they're carrying them bugs back anyway. We may as well restock a little bit, as we did lose some at the end of the uh, the last day. You don't really get many good pellets in this area. There are only basic single ones. And there's literally nothing over there at all. Kind of a weird, empty space. Maybe something comes there later on. Alright, you guys are all done. Come back. Now we can go and take the white ones over to that um, to that wall that needs knocking down over here. Let's try going over there first. Wait for these guys to catch up. Look at them purple ones at the back. Come on. There we go. So now we can uh, park all these here. Just grab the white ones and chuck them all at this wall. And then it looks like we can build a bridge over there and get that down. Is there anything to do while we're waiting? I guess not. Just wait here for a while. While I'm waiting for that, I'll show you something cool that I'm working on a future video for. These two things here, I've finally got up and running and got batteries in them. These are actually two LED games made by Gunpei Yokoi's company after he left Nintendo. A company called Koto Labs made these uh, LCD toys, which is really cool. So I finally got them opened up and I started recording my video. Surprisingly, even though they're from 1997, they both still had the pull tabs on the back. And that noise is probably annoying. There you go. Yeah, they both still had the pull tabs on the back, and the batteries in this one was, were okay. But unfortunately, the batteries in this pink one um, had corroded inside. So, I got this through Amazon earlier, which is some new batteries for it. I haven't tried it yet, but fingers crossed I can clean the contacts inside and put some new batteries in there. It seems really interesting. Like this one, if you can see, this one's basically the Gunpei game. So what you what you've seen on the Wonder Swan, uh, but the other one, 
The other one's very interesting. It looks like a take on Snake. Like an LCD game take on Snake, which should be interesting to see how that plays. So, very happy to have both of these in my collection. And hopefully I can get it up and running. And that'll be uh, next week's video. Because this one's going to be the review of that Crunchyroll Game Boy game, which I've got on the table back there somewhere. So yeah, very much looking forward to getting all that up and running. Yay, they're finally done. Oh, not quite. That's where the poison was coming from. Now we can safely go through. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh no, I hate that. I think it killed some of the purple ones. I didn't even notice it was there. Damn. How annoying. So much for being a pro player. Damn you, I'm going to come here and headbutt you while they're busy working. How dare you. Give them back. They're still inside you somewhere. It's a shame you can't help speed this up by hitting it too. Anything down here? May as well see what else we can do while we're here before we start bringing everything back. Uh, no, we need blue ones. Alright, let's just gather everything up. I guess it doesn't matter what colour picks up what. There we go, we've got the second part of the radar. Fascinating. This object is highly similar to the one you found in the Valley of Repose. By examining this further, I may be able to extrapolate new planetary data. We can head off to the third area. Anything else to do? Nope, literally just take those two things around. No, don't give them names, I already feel bad enough as it is. It's alright, they're going to be rebirthed. Here you go. There they are, look. There's Lawrence and Susan. Well, Leon. Yep, Lawrence, Susan, Leon and Kate. Well, we got two of them back. That's Lawrence and Susan. Leon and Kate can be the next two. Oh, that's what those slugs are there for. They're eating the berries. Can I hit it? Come on, Louie, hit it with me. Yeah, we can take him out while they're busy. There we go. There it is. The second half of the globe. A geographic projection. It is true. This hemisphere also contains a hidden microchip. I'll attempt to decrypt the stored data. Decoding complete, as I surmise. This chip contains additional topographic data. The data has been inputted into my database. I shall name it the survey chart. 30% of debt recovered. We're making good progress. I might as well just continue playing this game on stream too. And then I guess that's a good excuse to buy Pikmin 3 Deluxe. And we can play through the rest of the series too. Because I've been, I've been dying to replay that one for a long time. Sweet. 
so what else is there to do now? There must be something else on the other side of the map. Let's have a look. Something over there, maybe, with white Pikmin, because we've basically done everything on this side now. And the only bits left are two things that you need blue Pikmin for, and there's five somewhere in the overworld, just standing around. I know, the radar keeps going off every time I get close to that one. That's it, we need white ones up here now. Good job they didn't all get eaten by that plant. That is it for white- oh no, there's one more white one. There it is. And then again, we just wait. And appreciate the nice little flag that got put on top of there. Look at that lovely gradient. On the... That is the most basic flag ever. It doesn't even move. It's literally just a square gradient on a stick. Are they stuck on the other side? I don't think I can get anything that high up yet. No. I need to go around the other side and stand up here, I guess. Why didn't they make those just one section high? There's no point waiting this long. Oh, looks like we need yellow ones as well to get past that electric fence. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see, is there anything else I can show you that I've got here while we wait? I have this magazine from Yastuna Games that randomly came through the post and I've been meaning to message him because he DM'd me a while ago to see whether it turned up. Basically, it's just like a mix of a... Uh, Magazine and uh, advertisement, I guess. Just showing off some of the games that they're releasing soon. And uh, a little bit of an interview as well. There's an interview there with Dr. Ludos, who made a few homebrew games that you might be aware of. He made GB Corp, DMG deals damage. And there's a little bit about GB Compo 2023, of which I am a judge, and I've played through some of them so far. And I'm going to stream that at some point in the future as well, so you can see my thoughts and opinions on the games from the competition. Ah, and I'm actually mentioned in there as well. Can you see there? Probably can't see it. There I am. It won't focus, but... I'm in a magazine. There's many YouTube channels about retro gaming, some of them doing homebrew videos. Here's four of my favourites, that's cool. I didn't even know I was in there. And there's a bunch of other games that are coming soon as well. Some paranormal activity game. Uh, something called Sam the Optimistic Hedgehog. That sounds fun. So yeah, I left this out on the table so I would read through it at some point, so... There we go. Thank you, White Pikmin, for giving me the time to read through that magazine. <laughs> Some of them came with me. Okay, we can't go over there just yet. Is it safe to go down there? Yeah, there's no water there. There we go, we got something. We got some new treasure. Uh, let's just hope they all make it back to the base on time. I think they'll be fine. Yeah, they're basically there already. 
I can hear the... Uh, I can hear some of them fighting somewhere. There we go, they made it back safe and sound. Chance Totem. I love the random names they give to all the uh, treasures. We're not going to have time to get back, are we? Pro Pikmin player leaves everything to the last second. How's that? I'm glad we got that right at the end of the day. Even though there is no time limit, so there is absolutely no benefit to doing anything fast. I'm still playing it like it's Pikmin 1. Louis' head sticking out of the spaceship again. I swear that's just a glitch with this version of the game. It must be. Today's report. We only found two things. Did we gain? We lost one purple on Pikmin. That's what got eaten, eaten by that plant. Oh no. Olimar, good work so far. I hereby promote you to assistant manager. Press X to divide up work and Y to delegate more to your subordinate leader. Hope all goes smoothly. How many times do they have to explain the basic controls of the game? We got a new area. Perplexing pool. I guess we have to go there. There's nothing else we can do at the minute, is there? Let's go to the next area. Maybe we don't get the blue Pikmin just yet, then. This must be where we get the blue Pikmin. Oh yeah, let's start by getting out the uh, white and purple ones, because it sounds like they're fighting in there. We do have to be careful about not losing them, though. Yep, looks like there's five blue ones dotted around somewhere. Oh no, those stupid frogs. I hate the frogs so much. Okay, we're finding yellow ones here, not blue. Okay. Then that explains why we go back to break down that yellow fence in the other place. Look off in the distance, wild Pikmin. Can you see them, Captain Olimar? They are yellow Pikmin. You encountered them when you crashed on this planet, correct? It would be most helpful if they remember you, like the red ones did. Yes, most helpful. I'm sure they will. Hey, Tom Sutton's here. Hello. The magazine was called Yastuna Mag. I don't know if you can actually buy it or not. He literally just randomly sent it through the post to me. Because he already had my address from sending me some games in the past. But if you want to check it out. There it is. Maybe have a look on his website. YesTunaGames.com uh, This is issue one. So it is a new thing that he's working on I think. And he wanted some feedback on it. Which I've been really bad at replying. And I haven't gave any feedback. So... I apologise if you're watching. I'll uh, endeavour to reply tomorrow. I've been so bad at replying to anyone recently. Emails, texts, messages. Uh, there's just so much to keep on top of. Especially on Discord as well. I've hardly been on there at all. I'm kind of scared of them frogs, so I'm going to leave all the uh, white and purple ones here for now. And try and take out the frogs with just the uh, just the red ones. If I can, leave that one purple one behind. Leave Louie there as well, why not? I 
Let's see if it's easier or more difficult than the first game. I would say a lot easier. Wow, they've really dumbed it down. They were horrible to fight in the first game. That's an insane difference. Didn't even need to worry. Oh well. Send them back. What else have we got over here? We've got some space for blue Pikmin to do their stuff. Oh yeah, those annoying leaves. Best thing to do is just throw them around in circles like that. And the Pikmin will just attack them on their own. And then they can carry the leaves back. I keep wanting to press left to call everyone back over, but you can't do that in this one. Oh, we found another dungeon. Or cave. My senses are giving out foreboding signals. These signals could very well mean that this hole is filled with wretched, nasty bugs. Vicious programming terminating bugs. Oh no. Sounds like we need to go down there. Right. How do I get to these yellow ones? Or are we not worrying about that just yet? This kind of reminds me of the last area in the first game. Ah! I wasn't paying attention. Wait, this is the same area. I swear it's... Or it's similar, at least. It's very similar. Let's have a look at the map. What are we actually supposed to be doing? It is the same. I never noticed that. It is the same. It really is. That's the bit that we were just at. You have to throw the Pikmin on the wall there and then go up to the top. And then over here was where you had to try and get the yellow ones to go over. It's just slightly changed. And then that's where you got the bombs and you blew up the wall there. And that's where the big fight with the... Uh, with like the weird beetle thing was. I can't believe I never noticed that before. Right, anyway, let's go in the cave. Oh, I suppose I should have looked at what Pikmin it recommends to take with me. Oh well, we're in now. Sub-level one. Why is everyone crying? Indeed, and I am a pro player, so I have nothing to worry about. Just throw things randomly and hope for the best. That's what pro players do. Fill out the map. Leave everyone dotted around, I don't care. I'm making such a mess. It seems like it's safe anyway. The only annoying thing is there's no easy way of calling everyone back again, so... I should probably do that. We found a tomato. That's it. Nothing to worry about. Now, while they're bringing that back over, I can go and round everyone else back up again. Look at all the lights. I'll just wait here, I guess. Faster, faster! Whoa, what's going on? They're trying to drift around the corner. Now, what is it going to call a tomato? A love nugget. Okay, that was unexpected. Uh. 
And we've got everyone. And we can just head to the next area. With Louie. Yes. And Olimar. Let's go down. I should really be getting ready for bed. I've got another very busy day at work tomorrow. But... Until then, I want to finish this cave at least. What have I got tomorrow? I got another customer meeting and some random meetings and a team meeting and blah 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 blah. So many meetings. How am I meant to do any work? <gasps> oh, get back! How are they not all getting squashed? I think I lost some. Whoops. Oh well, I got a bottom cap anyway. Blackberry soda. Delicious. Creative inspiration. In the original GameCube version, they were actual... Um, they were actual proper brands, so I think that was like 7-Up or Dr. Pepper or something. So it seems like they had to change all that for the Switch release. I guess they didn't have the licenses to use anymore. Yeah, we didn't lose anyone that time. I'm still amazed at how much easier they are to fight in this game. <gasps> I thought they were going to blow up. Oh my god. Reminds me of all the daddy long legs that we've been seeing recently. Everywhere. There's another one. They try and steal the treasure too. I didn't really need to bring all them other colours with me, did I? Just the red ones. We got a duck head. <laughs> I wonder what it's going to call this. Paradoxical Enigma. Okay. Again, don't question it. Oh, we haven't been around the site. Anything up here? Or is it just a random corner for no apparent reason? Well, I suppose if you're a bit scared of going through the middle because of all the fire. Oh, we've got some lipstick. What is this paradoxical face colour? Lip service. That works. How have we only got 92 Pikmin? Where did the rest of them go? Let's carry on. How much deeper does it go? Sub level number three. Will I regret bringing the other colours with me again? Oh, these are the ones that flip over when you land on them on the back.
If you do it fast enough, you don't need to worry about the electric. Ah! I spoke too soon. What's wrong? Did someone get hurt? Oh, someone got picked up. Not sure what I should be doing, really. Let's just come back here in a minute. At least they won't get electrocuted if they've been planted. Right. What did they find here? Is that all? Or was there something in there that they already picked up? There's another door here. Oh, it's literally just a place to get some nectar. And back here as well. May as well make use of it. Oh, that one's easy to get because he got stuck on the wall. Go and get some money for taking its corpse back to the spaceship. Even if it is just a little bit. Still worth doing. Alright, so eat up! Now we've got to try and tackle these electric bugs again. I'm being a little bit careless with them, I really need to try and time it a bit better. Let's try and get rid of this guy while he's here. There we go. Ah! I ended up picking things up instead. Oh well, that worked. Where's the other one? Two at once. Now we can... Send some out to pick them up, and the rest of them can have this pineapple tin for some reason. And I'll free all the ones that got squashed. Oh, they found something here too. Okay, dig there then. That one white one on its own found something. Gonna wait for the other ones, there's some more white ones. Here they are. I think that was the majority of them. Let's see what else they find. What is it? A seashell? Poor clueless Louis just standing at the wall going, oh, oh. What's going on? Where am I? Why am I so incompetent? We got some pineapple slices. What's it gonna call them? In heavy syrup? Patience tester. Some of the names don't really make much sense. Is this going to be a proper treasure? I guess it is. Memorial shell. It's just a regular shell. And that is everything. 
for this level, at least. Apparently we haven't been on the side of this wall, so let's just do that for the sake of filling the map out. But there's, there's nothing else to find here, so we can carry on. I'm presuming there'll be a boss fight coming up. In a minute. Ba, 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 ba. Nintendo loved their characters just humming the theme tunes, didn't they? Because um, Luigi did the same in Luigi's Mansion. Hey, Poppyworks just watched my last video. They're the people that made Hime's Quest. They just put a, a heart. There's a comment. That's nice. Right, wake up everyone. We got some slugs to kill this time. Oh no, there's a purple one on fire. Ah! I didn't see that. Emergency, Pikmin are suffering. If you blow your whistle with B, you may be able to help them. He's on the wrong side of the wall though. Hey! Oh, it's okay, I managed to put him out. I didn't even realise he'd gone over there. Have we just got reds? Yeah. Ah, oh, he's funny. He has to try and crawl back to his house. Is there anything in here? There must be something in here. Yeah. There's a hidden playing card. What are you doing, Louis? You're just looking clueless as ever. We got... I don't even know what that is. A little chocolate. King of Sweets. Oh, there's another gate over there as well. I don't even notice that. Oh, maybe I should bring one purple and one he'll do. He can pick that up on his own. There we go. He's so strong, he can pick up a playing card all on his own. What have we got here? We have a flower to turn into white Pikmin. And... We have an egg. Uh, do we need an egg? A little bit. Let's make some white Pikmin first. They're very slowly coming over. We can help them speed up a bit. That's not a playing card, it's a matchbox. So we can use the nectar for these white ones. Come on, faster! Is that Bowser on the front of it? Oh, did I stop him too soon? Whoops, sorry. Like one millimetre too soon. That's cool. Got some Bowser matches. I don't think that is rolling in time with how it's moving. The flame of tomorrow. Telephone 555 troopers. Bowser breath brand, maybe? Is that what it says? Bowser breath makes sense. Yay, we've got some flowers. I think the purple ones are still a bit slower than normal. Let's carry on deeper.
I can reach him. Once they've moved a bit further, I'll call everyone back over. Alright, let's go and see what's on the other side. Anything? Literally nothing. It is just a path all the way around. For no reason. Some of these level designs are a little bit haphazard, it feels. We got a little picture of a dog. A time capsule. Cute. That's it, we're done. On sub level number four. Can you kind of see why I prefer Pikmin 1 though? There's a lot more urgency to Pikmin 1. Whereas this just feels like, solve some really simple caves and then solve some more simple caves and just keep doing that over and over. I still enjoy it, but I don't have to think as much as Pikmin 1, if you know what I mean. Citadel of Spiders. We made it to the final floor. Uh, there's a money spider. Usually they drop the pellets in the overworld. I guess down here they'll just drop nectar. And the uh, red berry juice stuff. Does anyone even need that? No. We have no use for it. There's the way out. We don't want to go out yet. Got to fight some spiders first, by the sounds of it. Okay. Is it that? I'm scared. And we're missing someone, apparently. Where are we missing one? It says I've only got 84. Well, no, I have zero. I only want to take a small section with me, just in case. Uh, he's back. Wait for him to do his weird stretch and then just back off. Oh, did I lose one? Lost two. I missed it. Alright, everyone, back up. There's no point hitting his legs because it doesn't do anything. At least I don't think it does. I'm sure there is a way of getting them to climb up his legs, but I guess this works too. Right, one more. Yay, that wasn't too bad. We got a key. Welcome back, Ginger Wolf. We just beat a boss. At the end of the dungeon. Uh, Majora's Mask? That's why I like Majora's Mask, but understand why the folk don't as much. It's hard to explain positive stress in games and life. Well, yeah, true. A little bit of stress helps a lot. Like That's why I set myself a deadline for making videos on a Friday, because the stress of 
having something out by Friday means that I actually sit down and edit, whereas if I didn't have that deadline, I probably just wouldn't bother. Same with Pikmin 1. That's why I keep replaying that one, and Pikmin 2, I'm just like, eh, whatever. Just take my time with it. Anyway. Sweet victory! That giant insect's body has crumbled to dust. And yeah, I love... I love Majora's Mask for the same reason, too. I'm quite relieved to know I won't have to store such an enormous bug. Analyzing soil samples. Anomaly detected. What's that glittering widget? What is it? It's a key to something. A very light key, apparently. I have one leaf Pikmin. There you go, it's all yours. Have it all to yourself. And there we go, we have a giant key. Is it from anything, or is it just a random key? It's worth a hundred coins anyway. It's called the key. It's a very simple key. I'm sure it'd be easily forged. It's literally just a block. This object seems familiar. I'll combine it with the President's Parallel Dimension Controller. Sensors indicate massive dimensional shift at a distant location. I'm receiving a message from a far-flung dimension. Displaying the message now. Challenge mode can now be accessed from the title screen. It appears to be total gibberish. Hopefully the message has reached its intended recipient. I'll name this the worthless device, the key. There we go. A bit more fourth wall break in there, but at least it acknowledged the absurdity of it. That's quite funny. Uh, I still don't know where that other Pikmin is. It says there's one left. They are literally just... Not here. There, there he is. How'd you get on that side? Are we done? Let me just double check first. We are not. There is still something else here. Apparently. Good job I checked the radar first. There's something else. Ah, get in here. Oh my god, fine. You guys can just stay there. We're picking up some signals here. Ah, there it is. Everyone, go dig. Keep going, keep going. Okay, is this what Hideo Kojima's Pikmin would be? Just caves? Yay! This is another distressed heart thing. Regal Diamond. That's just a regular name for it. Cave to the pressure. Ah. As a pro Pikmin player, I have no pressure. There we go, we're free. Back outside. We lost 12. Oh no. There wasn't even a proper boss for that one. I guess the spider thing kind of was, but it was very easy. Perplexing pool. I read that as perplexing pixel. Okay, we're back outside and we are now 40% debt recovered. I suppose we can top up. Because we lost a few, spend the rest of the time recouping our losses. Let's see if we can track down those yellow ones. Wherever they're coming from. 
Oh my god, is this where the inspiration for the strand genre came from? What am I supposed to be doing here? Let's take a little group of red ones and throw them up here. Get out of the water, idiots. Let's see if we can guide them up here. I remember doing this in the first one, and then it turned out I didn't even need that collar. Because I just had to pick something up from up there, and it could just be regular blue ones. Oh no, they've gone too far! Okay, I don't think there's any save in them ones. No. They've gone. They were too stupid for their own good. There's not even any point, because I need yellow ones to go on the other side of that anyway. What else can I do? Maybe on the other side over there? We need yellow ones for everything. Okay, we need some purple ones to get up there. Hey, another subscription! Thank you! Thank you for sending some of Bezos's millions my way. <laughs> Amazing, for two months as well. Thank you so much. Everyone's so nice to me. What have I done to deserve this? It's alright, he'll somehow use it as a tax write-off, I'm sure. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. They're done building the bridge. Uh, should we send all the other ones up here first so they don't fall off like last time? Right, the purple ones are so hard to throw, they can't even fit up there anyway. Why are these ones all just asleep? We did it! We're at the top! And instantly my Pikmin get carried away. There we go. That will take care of him! We're getting closer. Oh my god, it's a bit scary up here. Okay, what do we need to do? We need to get these red ones. Let's get them buried up so they're ready to fight. I should be able to take care of him, no problem. Almost. <laughs> well, I have been known to, to make a few scathing reviews. With some of the homebrew games that I've reviewed in the past. So there is some truth to that. But only if it's justified. I obviously don't want to make people feel bad on purpose. Okay, one of you can take that back. Is there anything else to do over here? It looks like that could be dug up. There's a whole load of stuff to do here. Although this area is in the first game, they definitely expanded on it a lot.
Hey, we did it. What is this? A strange mold like botanical entity has spread across the ground here. Interesting. I'm detecting other plant life suffocating beneath it. Let's see what's under there. I make people feel bad on accident. Okay. I can handle that. What are they doing? They're just hitting this weird pus thing in the floor. This is fun! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. What fun, I want to jump on top of it. It's going to be disgusting when it pops. You're not ready for this. Oh my god, it's taking a long time. Louis, get over here and help. Get your lazy bum over here. Can the Pikmin dab? That is the question we all need the answer to. Oh my god, it's still going. I should have brought more over. Where are they all anyway? It's getting dark. Shoot, they're all dotted around everywhere. I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave Olimar with them. Oh yeah, the rest of them are up here. Destroying this wall very slowly. Uh... Where's everyone else? There's a bunch of purple ones down there. Just to be safe, I'm going to take all these ones back home. Are there any more around here? There's a bunch of red ones over there. Okay. Sounds like the white one's finished. Oh, that's why there's a bunch here, because they've been carrying things. The purple ones are slowly making their way over. They can wait here. And I'll go and save the rest of the red ones that are stuck. Up there? Are they? Yeah, they've, they've built their bridge. Excellent. As it's too dangerous to bring them back, I'm literally just going to... Have Louis stay here with them. What happened here? Where's everyone gone? Uh, what did I miss? They've walked off with something. Do they all leave with that pellet? Okay, I guess they're just going to make their way back. We can go and say hi to the yellow Pikmin. Yay! There he is. The yellow Pikmin have climbed down the tree and are staring in this direction. They appear to like high places and seem quite light. They also have very large ears. If I had named them, they would be called Ear Pikmin. But I guess I'll use the name Olimar gave them. Curious, my static electricity sensors are reacting violently. What could this mean? It means I gotta electrocute them. I wonder if it still gives you double if you send silver ones in there with them, considering they don't have an onion. Does it give you double? Or does it just give you like slightly more than regular amount? I need to try and round everyone up though. I see where everyone is. Oh, it's fine. We got a bunch there. They'll go up to the onions. And then we can just switch to Louie to take care of the rest of them. Okay, I think we're safe. And now I panic thinking that I haven't got everyone. 
I think I do. Olimar's got these guys. Everyone else is up there. And let's just check. Louis's got the rest. We should be fine, I think. I don't want to risk going back across that bridge. There's a lot to do. There's a lot of fences to break down. And there's a bridge to build. And we get to find out what the purple stuff does. Yay, there we go. Another day over. Just a day in the life of Retro Break. <laughs> I'm building the bridges of the retro gaming community, obviously. That's my campaign. And breaking down fences. No console wars here. There we go. There's all our treasure for the day. And we didn't lose anyone. Don't know why I sounded surprised. Olimar, terrible news. Uh, and I'm over here trying to start a Twitter rumour that he's a Brexiteer. Shh. Olimar, terrible news. I thought I went to happy Hockertate savings and loans, but it seems my loan came from the shop next door. All devouring black hole loan sharks. Oops. Easy mistake. Right. I'm going to end it there. It is quarter to twelve. Time for bed. Time for all of you to stop watching Twitch as well. But thank you so much. Everyone's been so kind to me this stream. I really do appreciate all of the support. That's just incredible. Really made me very happy. So I had a bad day at work and this has more than made up for it. So thank you so much. And I'm really enjoying playing Pikmin 2 as well. So I'll definitely carry this on. I'm not sure whether I want to play Saber Wolf next week or whether we'll carry on playing Pikmin, but I will do it at some point. So thank you. Look forward to the video on Friday. And uh, I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye. Yes, I'll check that game out. I made a note of it. Alright, see you guys.